Lord blessed. Uh, down there yesterday, I think they ended up making uh, about 350 hot dogs, and give or take a few. Uh, and that was all done in the name of the Lord, so we thank God for that. But those little boys, they come in there, and they said, uh, I said, go in and get you a hot dog bun and take it and, and throw it out to them fish. So they all come, and they got them, a, they got them a, a hot dog bun, and they begin to break it off and throw it to those fish. And I thought about the Scripture in the book of Ecclesiastics, and Lord willing, that's what we want to read from this morning. We want to read in Ecclesiastics. How many of you know Solomon probably penned by the leadership of the Lord the book of Ecclesiastics? And all through the book of Solomon, he said it's all vanity. It's all vanity. What we have here today is priceless. What we have here today is priceless. And in Ecclesiastes, them little boys, they went over there, and maybe there's a girl or two over there, but they begin chunking off those little pieces of bread and throwing them into the fish. You know, and, and Jesus said, Behold, he said, I'll make you fishers of men. Uh, how many of you here today, Dylan, I thank God for you, son. But, uh, you know, here in a little bit, some of these kids and some of you has already wet a line. You've already went and you see some lines in the water. But how many of you could say this? Well, you know, Rob, I went fishing today. You did, Steve? Yeah, I just cast it one time. How many of you ever went fishing? Dylan, you ever went fishing and just cast that fishing pole one time? That's not, that's not much of a fishing trip, is it? Sometimes I'm not the fisherman maybe that Dylan is, but I've got to cast more than one time. How many of you feel like sometimes you got to cast out more than once to catch what it is that you're after? I want to encourage someone here this afternoon. Maybe you've cast, uh, uh, cast out something and you don't feel like you've got a bite. But I want to tell you something. Don't get discouraged. Amen. Uh, right. The Bible says in Ecclesiastics, I think chapter 11, it says, cast thy bread upon the water. The, water. Yeah. the Bible says in many days, yeah. Yeah. it shall return. Yeah. Don't get discouraged. Right. Don't get down. And I will say this too. Uh, sometimes we've got to cut loose those apron strings. <laughs> That's for somebody here this afternoon. Uh, you know, we use, uh, Dylan, I don't know what test, sometimes they'll all talk, they'll say, well, oh, what test line you use, brother? And, and sometimes, you, you know, uh, they like to finesse in that big fish with a real small test line. I want to encourage you here this afternoon. Uh, you know, you've heard said so many times, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, it was yours. God let his son go. And he came back. Amen. And he's coming back again, yes, church. He <laughs> Brother, he's coming back, and I'm looking forward to it. And you know who he's coming back for? He's coming back, amen, for the blood bought the redeemed, amen. Of those, amen, who have received Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> bless the Lord, amen. Ecclesiastics, and pray that God would bless the reading of his word. The Bible says, cast thy bread. Cast thy bread. Well, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, this afternoon, who's he talking to? He's talking to the body of Christ. Yeah. He's talking to us, amen. The blood bought, the born again, the redeemed. Uh, cast thy bread. Well, brother, what is the bread, amen? Uh, the bread's the word, amen. Uh, Rob, that's the word of God, amen. Uh, listen to me. Uh, we ought to cast our bread upon the waters, amen. 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 Cast them out. I think about them young boys down there yesterday, amen. Uh, they was taking those hot dog buns and throwing them out there. And little Hunter, bless his soul, he came over and he had a little, he had a little bit of a frown on his face and I said Hunter what's wrong uh, he said I got no more bread and they won't give me no more hot dog bread. <laughs> he said I got no more bread a uh, church amen we ought not run out of bread amen uh, listen we ought to have plenty amen of the word uh, to go around Larry amen uh, listen amen it ought to dwell richly within our hearts yes Oh, if you love him this afternoon, say amen. amen. Here in a little bit, I'm sure somebody will go out there and they'll cast something out there. Uh, what is this bread that is talking? You know, I want to encourage you too. Uh, this is something, amen, that's precious to these people. Amen. How many of you can say this afternoon, the Word is precious to you? Amen. Uh, the Word's precious to me. And sometimes we got to take what's precious uh, to us and let it go. It says, cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. How many of you can say amen? Uh, sometimes we don't have the patience to receive what it is that God has for us to receive. 